Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to our house. Welcome to our kitchen. Today, we're cooking a very traditional dish. You know, every culture has some sort of cold summer soup. Ukrainians have akroshka. They have uh, cold beet soup. Uh, Italians have, uh, Spaniards have gazpacho. I mean, everybody has something. This dish is extremely easy to assemble. The whole trick with the cold soups is um, that it takes no time. You just chop, 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 or grind, 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 and that's delightful. And the best food uh, to eat is raw for us humans. But this dish has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. There is raw, there is cooked, uh, and here is my mom, Ludmilla, and we've been making a koshka for as long as I could remember. So there is another secret ingredient and I'm gonna tell you about it in the, uh, towards the end when we chop the vegetables and mix them together. And we'll talk about different substitutes. So this dish is very green, it is summery, and everybody in Ukrainian households know how to make it. So I'm gonna make a big batch of it, but you don't have to. This um, dish, the soup, could stay in the refrigerator for a couple of days, and usually uh, the second and the third day, it gets only better. Um, it's kind of like bush. I don't know the origins of a bush, but maybe I will research them for you. Um, but right now, I'm going to cube, not big. Nothing is tremendous, humongous, but of course everybody has their own preference. I like my bites to be small, and this approach is not vegan. You can make it vegan if you substitute hard-boiled eggs for tofu and skip meat, because we are adding traditionally meat to it. And the meat is bologna. Uh, this is a Ukrainian-Russian uh, bologna, um, but it's very similar to American bologna. I want to say it tastes a little bit better because I grew up on it, but who knows, I never tried American bologna. I would say they're probably very similar. So cucumbers go in, they give nice refreshing crunch. Potatoes, these I cooked hard-boiled and peeled. I am also going to cube them in a similar way. And if you think about one of the dishes that I shared with you in one of the videos, it's called Alevia. It has similar ingredients, uh, except there's only two of them are cooked. And the dicing is similar. It's nice, small, it is extremely refreshing. It has a lot of green, uh, scallion and dill. It makes it extremely fragrant and summery. So the secret ingredient that is the liquid for, for this soup, for this summer soup for Akroshka, is uh, what we call kvass. It, um, it is kind of like beetroot uh, root beer. Um, it's made out of the rye bread with probably addition of some malt or sugar or honey. It's not sweet, it's not sour. Um, as I'm thinking, the replacement for it would be root beer if it's not too sweet. The Germans have a wonderful drink that could go with this. It's called it's called Radler or Radler. <laughs> it is a mixture of beer and lemonade. They sell it in the bottle, so if you're in Germany, you can use Radler. If you have Eastern European store somewhere in your community, you can get Kvass. The ingredient, the liquid, the drink, 
is called class. Uh, back at home in the former Soviet Union, they have cisterns and humongous cisterns uh, out um, on the streets. There would be a woman sitting there at the glass. The cistern had a washer to it and she would pour you. And as growing up, uh, when it's hot and you run around, it costs nothing. It costs like three cents. How much does it cost for us? Three kopeki, ma? It costs three cents for a huge mug, big mug, like beer mug. So it costs nothing. It was extremely refreshing and completely natural. It's kind of like kombucha. Um, if you find good. Good kombucha, maybe you make your own kombucha. That could be, it has to have a little of a bite. Um, and kwas comes with a bite. And that bite is like, uh, you know, like kind of like a beer bite. Um, with a little gas to it. It has gas in it, so I'll show you. I have, it's, the, I have a giant bottle sitting in the fridge. It's usually sold here in big bottles. And um, the other day I was in the Eastern European store by me, and they didn't have big jars, but they have, and they don't have any more much of the Ukrainian or Russian uh, varieties. Belarusian, Belarusians for that matter, they make wonderful, wonderful class. I remember going there as a child and it's delightful. But there was a very good Lithuanian one. Lithuanian products are still available. So, and it was delightful. We got it and we drank it. Bill, Bill, oh my goodness. Uh, don't get me started on all the greeneries, the parcels, the cilantro, because this is nature's pharmacy. There's so much in it of goodness that I can't even enumerate. It's wonderful and the flavor is amazing. Scallion, this is from my garden, this is from the farm stand. So uh, it needs a little bit of a crunch and this will get Give it a crunch and flavor. And we also have radishes. So the reason it's a summer drink because in summer, especially spring, when spring starts, kvass is ready. We don't sell kvass in winter. The cisterns are brought in in summer. Um, and as soon as they start selling kvass, you know, radishes are in, dill is in, scallions are in. So all the ingredients for Koshka are in. Yeah. So you have to have class. Looks like a big hunk, right? And it is a big hunk. Are you videotaping? I am videotaping. You want a piece of Bologna? No. Yoshka, you want a piece of Bologna? <laughs> uh, who doesn't like Bologna? Paula, when you change your mind, come back. I just don't want to be on camera. I can give you to the side. Nah, this is good, mom. This is like. They don't want I, just, I also just don't want Bologna right now. Palinka, no, it's a bit of a Mom. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Uh, my daughter just came from work. Mom, please. <laughs> doesn't want to talk about it. So we're cutting a little bologna. A good bologna? Good. Так, uh, you know, it has to be in proportion. Everything has to be um, sort of in equal proportions. But it takes no time to make. Well, I shouldn't say no time. Everything takes time, and more importantly, everything takes love. Food tastes good only when it has love in it as a main ingredient. It doesn't matter how good your ingredients are. If you don't put a little bit of the heart sprinkle in it, and that's why so much of the food in the restaurant is not that good. 
Now, I show you, it's gonna be a thick soup. Uh, it's not gonna be watery. It has, every bite has to have something, but it's not gonna be like pure thickness, like kasha. It will have liquid to it. So uh, you will have quite significant amount of Полечка, дай, пожалуйста, доску и маленький ножик маме, бабушке, потому что мы будем очень долго это показывать. Now, eggs, hard boiled eggs, and my mom will start cutting so you don't have to... Нет, такой прибой. My mom will cut radishes. Спасибо. Соль до тебя и перец, пожалуйста. Please. So mom is showing you that she's gonna cut radish. And I'm gonna season it and show you glass. Because I'm almost done cutting. try it you know uh, if you are of Russian or Ukrainian descent and you've tried this dish you know how good it is and if you're looking for some tips on how to make it taste wonderful hopefully this video will be helpful to you and if you just want to try something completely new you have nothing to do with Ukrainian or Russian speaking cultures. We have eggs are finished. Off they go. Radishes are finished. So here, you can even cross them. So this is cloths. And of course we have to season it, pepper. You know, you can make this a time, a couple days, and then day off, you can pour the cloths in, and they don't have to sit in. Хорошо, сэр. Там же картошка. Yeah, хорошо, сэр, So there's potatoes, mom says, season it properly. I'm gonna just toss it up. Everything gets mixed up. It smells so good. It smells radishes and dill and it smells summer. So this is kvass. It says Akoshka kvass. There are a gazillion of different brands. They come in these big bottles, Coca-Cola bottles, and they have guests. So as I was thinking about the replacement, I was thinking, it's almost like beer. That's why I thought about root beer. Uh, so it comes in dark and light varieties. Just like beer, it comes light, it's a lager, and it comes dark. I want to cover it and probably have a couple of inches above. And believe it or not, because I'm making such a big pot, I have another bottle of it. I'm gonna open it and pour me and my mom a glass, because who doesn't like? So it's a non-alcoholic beverage, from concentrated, concentrated glass fermentation. Water, sugar, carbon dioxide to give it, uh, then I have malt, rye, rice sugar, yeast, lactic acid, citric acid. You know, in the good old days, it was the, um, simply the rye bread, the malt, and then it ferments naturally. No, nothing is, <laughs> nothing is natural. Uh, so it is quite 
I have one more bottle and I'm gonna pour it in the glass. So remember, beer but not alcohol. Kinda like beer, but not beer. Rodler even has a little bit of beerness to it. Not Coca-Cola, it's not the sweet. And if root beer is sweet, you don't want it. So I was even thinking apple cider with some Uh, guess to it, some guess mineral water mixed in with it. So the soup is done, quite thick. Best thing is for for it to sit for a good two hours in the fridge and marinate and absorb, and then it just becomes as a symbiotic symphony of love. The sakoshka. So it's um, short. What? Cut. What? Хорошо. So mom is gonna sample it. I want to show you how it looks. It smells wonderful and um, it is delightful. She only wants to try a little bit uh, because she wants it to sit for a couple of hours. Попробуй на соль, скажи, че добре. I will add a little bit more of glass. Mushok. Solid chutana. Uh mom says just a little bit more salt. Metal cut, so it all cash. Harasho? Bye. To your health. To the koshka, to the quats. Heaven. Ah, love it. Love it. Um, so I'm not gonna taste it because I'm vegan and it has ingredients, but I would gladly make it for my children. Shakwas, mom says a little bit more. Quats, so it's not as thick. It's soup after all. And um, to a wonderful summer, to health and abundance in your families and your houses. And uh, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time on my video channel. Have a wonderful day.